Oh yeah. See how the picture's gone really bad? Just gonna try and do this. So if you're gonna build an arcade, so I'll light back down and I'll go back to normal. See how it goes back to normal? Now we'll line it back up and we'll see it go weird, weird colours. See a tinge of red there? We're going right over now. So what you do is, you can sort of see as I pull away it comes a bit normal. Hey guys, how you going? Right, welcome to Matsu's Arcade. Right, we I haven't done a CRT video for a while. Um, I thought um, this one's for you, Andy. Andy's Arcade. Um, some people use CRTs for arcades because uh, monitors are really hard to get in Australia. So you can use an old TV and turn it on its side, but the picture does go a bit weird. It's because all the electrons bend in the tube and when you change the gravity they get a bit skew if. So this video is, I'm going to show you how to fix that with just a magnet. Um, there's also other ways too, like a degaussing wand as well, but I haven't got one of those. So we're just going to get a magnet, um, one of these magnets. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you how to sort of fix it up. It does take a while, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it does fix it up. So I'm just going to show you in this video. Alright, there's... There's the big hua there. Look at it. It's bloody huge. It's actually friggin' big. Look how big the bloody thing is. Right, we're going to move this. We're going to move this over there. Over there. Alright, I'll, I'll move this over and then we'll set it up. Alright, I've got it set up on the floor, we're just going to turn it on. Well, I haven't started this for a while, so this is my Sony Trinitron. Um, this is my Sony Trinitron test TV. Alright, what are we going to do here? So I've got the PS2, just going to mute that, I've got the PS2 set up, so I'm going to show you, I'm just going to put a game in there, um, I'm just going to put a game in there and show you what it looks like um, as it is, um, PS2 just by, just by the, um, we've just got RCA video, that's all it is, um, I like this one because I'm just gonna grab you for a minute. I like this this TV because because it has um, S video as well, so you can play GameCube as well as well as AV, and it's also got earphones as well. So it's a good it's a good test, um, and I've just got the PS2 set up there. So it's a good test um, TV, and it's only Trinitron. Sony Trinitron there, um, they're well known to be a bloody good CRT. So anyway, we're going to do the test. Um, when you, some people want to make pulleys and arcades, um, I'm going to show you what the picture looks like as it is now, which should be good. But when we turn the tube on its side, up and down like a vertical cabinet, I'm going to show you how to fix it because the picture actually gets distorted. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to put a game in for, for a minute. Just going to pull back a little bit. I don't normally work off the floor. Right, so I've got my wireless controller. And I'm going to put the sound back on. Got 
my wireless controller. So it shows you how big. You know one thing. You one thing I've noticed with CRTs, um, the sound system is still amazing today. Like nowadays, you get a flat screen, but the sound system is shit. With these old CRTs, the sound you'll probably experience in a minute. The sound is amazing. It's it's actually got Dolby surround in the menu. Anyway, this is my Sony Trintron test. Um, turn that down. I don't know why that's all the way up. So I'm just going to show you arcade mode. Right. Okay, mate. Go easy. Leonardo. Right, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Does that sound? So we'll get away from the black and white. Hopefully, we can change the aspect ratio to full. There we go. So, there you go. There, Tatus, come here. I have something to speak to you about. You are all to participate in a tournament. A tournament? Right, this is um, Master Splinter. So I'm just going to sit behind you on the camera and have a quick go, and then we're going to turn the TV. Going to turn the TV up on its side. Three, two, one, go! So you get a general idea what that looks like, right? So I'm just going to turn the volume down. And we... I'm going to turn this on its side now. So I'm going to zoom back a little bit. So you can actually see it all. I'm going to show you because um, the picture will actually turn to crap in a minute. Right, this is going to be a little bit testy, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Probably don't recommend doing this um, live, but I'm going to show you just for the video, alright? I'm gonna make it this this the top. Ooh, bear with me. Oh, it's bloody heavy. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. See how the picture's gone really bad? I'm just gonna try and do this. So if you're gonna build an arcade. I'll light back down and I'll go back to normal. See it goes back to normal? Now we'll line it back up and you'll see it go weird. Weird colours. See a tinge of red there? I'm going right over now. Alright, so you can see we've got purple. You can see we've got purples in there. We've got to get rid of them. Because um, all the light was bending a certain way because of gravity. But now the gravity's changed, the light's bending in a different way. 
because light comes in from the guns at the back and it spreads onto the screen but now that we've changed it and it's used to the gravity we've got all this different so now I'm going to show you and this particular CRT does not have a degaussing button like um, normally they have a degauss so I'm going to show you how to do it the hard way but the cheap way um, you can get a degaussing gun and plug it in and and do you know degauss it but I'm going to show you how to do it with a magnet okay can I get the magnet right right I've just got this sort of magnet two two 25 mil neodymium magnets and they're like 10 mil diameter got two of them so you watch this you will watch the colors see how we've got purple there keep it on the purple now you're gonna have to wreck the whole screen and go right up close to see how it changes colors this will change colors on the screen see there's reds and purples and greens So I can't see what's up going on up here. See, if you just do that and run away, it'll leave leave things in the wrong spot. So I need a full picture. I'm gonna try and see how the colours look so crap now. I'm gonna try and pull it. Right, I'm gonna try and pause it there just so you can see what's going on, right? So what I normally do is, I call this defragging, right? Um, I don't know what other people call it. But anyway, it's all electrons. Electrons, there's bad electrons in the tube as well. So when you tip it on its side, it goes all weird. So what you do is, you can sort of see as I pull away, it comes a bit normal. So you wanna just muck with them all like that. And then what you wanna do is, See how it's sort of pretty good. Um, it's pretty good there, but you can see what's bad. So what the idea is, you don't do this and then pull away to the side because it'll stuff the side up. The idea is you come back towards away. So you do this sort of thing. It takes a while to do this, but once you've done it, it's all set. So you want to get rid of those real bad ones. Oh, I think that's close. I 
I think that might be close, guys. There you go. So that's how you do it with the magnet. It's you're just going to play with it and check it out. So that takes a bit of time, but you can get it. Um, and now I'm going to show you putting it back, and it'll look crap again because we've already set it up for vertical. So that's how you do it. So we're going to put it back to um, horizontal now. Grab that in the wrong spot. So now, now you can see the colors aren't that great. They're not exactly that great. Um, you see the turtles are purple now and blue. So we're going to do the same thing again. It's, gonna, it's probably not the best game to do this, you know, because it's so multicolored. So this particular, I found like if I went from the bottom to the top, we sort of fixed it. It's pain. It is a painful way to do it, but you can fix it. you're saying but does it look all right <clears throat> I think that's pretty close to what it's supposed to be off 
So there you go, I've got it back to normal and that's how it should look. So it just takes a while. Sometimes you need to just, if it, if it gets too much for you, um, walk away um, and you, I found that if you get the magnet and you pull it to the edges, um, it seems to work. But this one doesn't have a degaussing um, coil. So um, when you do have a CRT with degaussing, when you turn it on and turn it back off, it should help it a lot. But anyway, bear in mind, um, that's, that's what you gotta do when you, when you tilt them on the side and make it a vertical monitor. Um, I'm just gonna change the game now and put another game in so you can see the colors are normal again. So I'll take this one out. We're just going to change this one over to a buggy sort of looking one. So we've got Wild Wild Racing in there. So you can see that's all back to normal now. Um, you just got to let the CRT settle. Um, if you not, if you if it gets too much for you, just come back another day and do it. It'll settle eventually. Just going to have a look at this one now. See if it looks right. So, so you know the union jack's pretty close to what it's supposed to be. So you can turn any CRT um, monitor or TV into a arcade monitor. You just gotta be patient with the decausing part of it. So this is it. You can see I've slightly got a little little bit of green there. I haven't quite got it yet. That's why I put another game. We'll put a test screen on it. I haven't got a test screen thing yet. So you can see there's a little bit of pink there. I haven't quite got exactly. A little bit of blue. But we'll eventually get there. It'll eventually settle and it'll be fine. So you can see there's still a few little changes there. But... Um, that's how you do it guys, hope you liked the video. Just gonna have a little quick game, I haven't had a go of this game yet. Very arcade style.